Welcome back, champions, to more of the Banner Saga. Uh, I wanted to show you something here on the map. Because I want to give you an idea of the scale of this game. Now, I don't know if we end up going to all of these places. I mean, there's a ton of places that are all that you can highlight, right? And a bunch of different areas. Now, we have currently traveled... Um, actually, on this one, I'm not sure. I think uh, we're heading to Vedrafell. But I just wanted to go over to where the humans are. Because the human story, we started at Skoger. And we traveled from Skoger to, to Frostveller. That was our journey. Just that little bit. And there is a ton of map. An absolute ton. So that actually excites me. Because that makes me think that there is a lot of game left to come. So we don't have to be completely depressed that we just lost yet another uh, playable character. <laughs> Though I am depressed. The last thing you want to do is lose all your characters. The more characters you have, the more fun it is. Um, the more you get to level guys up. I don't know. That's just how I see it. But, yeah. Yeah. We're not doing so good in that department. Hopefully things get better for us. <laughs> and we can start actually keeping guys. Alright, we hear a shout echo on the wind. A standard Varl greeting. A caravan of Varl are heading your direction. Probably a few hundred in total. You meet them halfway. Hopefully they join us. Because uh, we're down a few Varl. You must be Wagner. Uh, was. Wagner didn't make it. You serious? Oh, look at this guy, Fasold. It's getting grim out here, but didn't expect that. You're flying the shield banner. What's happening? Is an Ulfur in charge here? There? I'm Fasold. Ulfur's still in shield. Schlid. In case he needs to be, he sent me to meet Wagner. Well, you. We've seen nothing happening in Schlid yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never came through Schlid. They're all pouring out of Ridgehorn. We only just found out about it. One group went that way, we came here. Ridgehorn. The fort on the bay? That place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Yeah. Maybe that's why they're there. By all accounts, it looks like another damned invasion. Lubine forces his way into the conversation. Wait a godless minute. What did you do? Careful now. You be careful. What did you start? You think men don't remember history? The long banner hangs in Arborang. The Second Great War nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? Who the fan is this? Uh, take him and go to Grolfheim. We'll meet you later. Shut your mouth, Lubine, or I'll smash your face. Uh, what do we say? We call Lubine a nobody? He's not a nobody. I don't want to piss him off, because he's going to end up attacking me. Um, and I don't want to threaten to smash Lubine in the face. So take him and go to Grofheim. We'll meet you later. Are you insane? He just said an army of dredge are pouring out of that fort. Go on to Grofheim then, Prince. Having your blood on my hands would be worse than doing nothing. This shuts Lubine up for a moment. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety, but he didn't expect to flee like a coward. He expects you to come along. He glances at his men. We're already this far. If this is the Varl's doing, I'll know of it, and so will my father. Besides, you need my help and my fighters. If I go, so do Riz Isra and Bercy. Ursa, sorry. Lubine's unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick to the shins. Mogger can't contain a chuckle. 
Ha! The prince has courage. I'd rather you were safely in Grothheim, Lubine, do whatever you like, Lubine, knock him out cold, and send him away. Um, I do want his men. But I'll tell him I'd rather he were safely in Grothheim. I'd rather you stop acting like the one in charge of me. What kind of alliance is this? These are Varl lands. We're facing an army of dredge. How much experience do you have in these matters? True. Mankind has never provoked them into a war. You're going for a third. Is taunting the dredge into genocide a game for your kind? Lay the prince flat and send him off to Grothheim. I'm just going to walk away. I don't want to start trouble with the prince and maybe the king. You curse and threaten pandemonium. The prince has chosen to be no responsibility of yours. If Lubine stays, so do Fasholt's warriors. They join the caravan. So this was the great outcome. We just got plus 300 and something. Oh, yeah! 300 Varl. Nice! That's good. Should we camp for a second? I want to camp and check out the men. That sounded weird. But anyway, I want to check out and see if I got new guys. I have Fasolt. Uh, Fasolt is a provoker. What is that? Okay, he's got malice. The provoker curses and spits at his enemies, forcing that character to attack him on his next turn. With his high armor, the provoker often takes little or no damage from the assault. When malice can, while malice can be a difficult ability to learn, it's devastating in the right circumstances. Negate a strong enemy for a turn, pull an enemy forward on the board, or lock a character in place to set them up for future damage. Oh, I really like that. Okay, return the favor. A character who attacks a shield banger. Loses one point to armor for each strike he makes. Okay, so am I a shield banger or a provoker? I guess because I bang my shield, I'm a shield banger. But I'm a provoker shield banger. Okay, I want to put him in. So I'm going to take Burst Eye out. And I'm putting Fasolt in. I am content with that. Alright, cool. Let's get into a fight. Let's go pick a fight. Yeah! The hike approaches the Godstone. The hike approaching the Godstone is murder. You recall how most Godstones were built on hills, overlooking other Godstones so that travelers could follow them and find their way between cities. It does nothing to ease your pains. Dredge! Shouts Mogger near the front of the caravan. Suddenly, black rocks are whizzing past your head. What the hell is this, you shout? Mogger shakes his head. A stone slams into the shield of a nearby Varl, exploding in a flash of light and razor-sharp fragments. Get behind the shield bangers, shouts Mogger as you approach for a fight. Dredge line to battlefield. Weapons drawn. You take a quick head count. There's 695 of them. And there are... 900 of us? 900 and... I don't know, 10? 15? Okay, uh... We're gonna charge? I don't know if this is always a good thing, but I keep doing it. Uh, rush into battles. You consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, breaking them enemy. Okay. Let's do it. Uh... Fasold is pretty awesome. We're going to make him first. We're going to make Hacken second. Uh, Gunnolf takes a lot of damage. We're going to make him almost last. And Eric and Lubine are going to be in the middle with uh, Ursa last. Or Yursa. I don't know how you say her name. Okay. Dude. A big bad shield banger. Um, ooh, these guys are different. These are dredge slag slingers. 
Oh, the ranged attackers. Okay. He runs several spaces away from attacker when hit. So it'll be good to use our uh, ability on them. What is this guy? Is he the same thing? Okay. Well, we're going to have to pin them in. Okay, let's go for it. So on this, we're going to have to advance everybody. Okay, does that take three willpower? As much as I want to get right into it, I want to save my willpower a little bit. As I think that is a very important thing to manage. <gasps> oh, so bad. Okay. Sweet. He can do four shield damage. He needs way more willpower than he has. So that's going to be the plan, is going to be leveling up willpower. Okay. Oh, dude, another three. That is awesome. Okay. Everybody's kind of split up, and that's not normally what I like to do, but for the time being, one shot kills! Oh! Nothing in the world wrong with a one shot kill. I wonder if fire damage, will that work? Oh, yeah! That worked a lot! Oh, but it leaves kind of... Oh, that's not good, because then I take fire damage when I walk onto it. I see. See, that was a problem I had before. You know what, if I just walk up to it and not onto it, I'm gonna hang out there, and then they've got to come onto it to fight me. Okay. Can I go there? And then... If I go straight into the fire... Well, I think that's important. We gotta start taking these dudes out. And we can one-shot them. With the barrels! Eric! Can you get a one-shot in? You can! A kill shot anyway. Oh, maybe not. I totally hit the wrong guy. I was thinking this guy had five. Okay, anyway, that's all right. We can do it now. And here... Well, I'm sort of out of place. So I'm going to have to make my way around. This battle's going way better than the last one, but these guys aren't tough like the last guys were. I'm gonna hide behind the shield banger here. Well, I'm just gonna do a little bit of shield damage. Not much.
Okay, we're still in pretty decent shape. This might be the first battle where no one dies. Of course, it's a little early to say that, but... One can hope. Well, listen. I could probably just kill him. I can't. I can almost kill him, and I can kill him. Seven damage. And now we can move in on that guy. Now... Hacking for the win, sorta. <laughs> okay, we're in pillage mode. No, I was so close. Oh man, so close to not losing anyone, and it just didn't go my way. And impale! Kick him towards... Oh, nice. Ran him right into my guy. Uh, you can't do anything, so you're just gonna rest. And we'll get a win! Okay. So, we can pull back and regroup, or we can kill a few more as they flee. I think we did pretty good, so I want to kill a few more. And there's not that many. There's only three guys this time. So we're actually not going to run up. We're going to let that guy come to us. And who needs rally points here? He's at three. You're at three. You're at four. So everybody's good for the time being. So I guess we'll just chill. Okay, I can move in. And I can do three damage. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be a bit of a cluster. But I think I can work it out. And what I mean is, uh, because these guys are big squares, so I move him here and this guy is now stuck. But because uh, he goes next, I can move him hopefully to there and be able to move him. No, he's still going to be stuck. He's not going to be able to get in, but that's all right. So do I want to move in there and then we'll move hacking up? I guess... Yeah, I think we'll do that. Or can we get him there quicker than Hacken, and then Hacken can get him for the kill? Okay, let's do that. Okay, eight damage. Nice. Well, he's not going to be able to do a lot of damage, but he can do some shield damage. And I think everybody else is just going to chill. Until our big dude, our new dude, can get in there. Uh, he can only do four, though. Five. Oh, that was close. Okay. Well, I think what you're going to do is you're going to have to fight. I was going to give uh, willpower...
So let's just bash his shield down a bit and open him up for what is our new guy's name? For Fasselt. Okay. And that will do it. Victory! So, we lost seven Varl and one fighter. And we have one injury. And we gained 16 Renown. Renown is going to become pretty important as we start leveling up our guys because it's getting pretty expensive. All right, champions. Well, thank you all for watching more of the Banner Saga. I'm totally digging this game. I love it. Uh, I can't wait to play some more, and I can't wait for you to join me for some more of the Banner Saga. See you all next time. <laughs>